so many people over my life say, oh, how do you afford to travel? How do you afford to travel? And, and I would say the number one rule is travel where you get a good deal. When was the last time you went to lunch and you only paid about a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty? When was the last time you got a hotel room for less than ten dollars? How about, when was the last time you traveled domestically on an airplane for thirty dollars? Well, when you go to pay less, get more countries, uh, this is the norm. And people have been asking me, for much of my life, I've been traveling the world for over 18 years now, and people always ask me, how do you afford to travel? How do you afford to travel? And I tell them, I go to pay less, get more countries. And they're not hard to find. It's about 80% of the planet. Um, I would say it's most countries except the Western world. If you travel outside of Western Europe, I would say Western Europe is probably the most expensive place to travel in the world. Um, I've never been to Switzerland because about doing two months in Switzerland, I'd have to go back to America and find a job. <laughs> it, would, it would bankrupt me, quite frankly, unless I lived on a tent lived in a tent. Now I've met, I've met travelers that are like, oh yeah, I love to go to, I love to go to, uh, to France and I love to go to Britain and everything. And I, and I go and bring a thermos and I go and fill it with oatmeal and like hot water. And I bring my tent and I live like a homeless person more or less. And I don't want to do that. I'd rather be here in a place like I am now. I'm in beautiful island of Koh Phangan, Thailand. And this is, and Thailand is a, is a fantastic, probably one of the best pay less, get more countries uh, in the world. Um, and there's countries that are, that are significantly less expensive. Now I met people that have come to Thailand from places like Nepal and they go, oh my God, it's so expensive here in Thailand. They, they, they're like, oh, I just spent like a $1.25 on, on lunch. And, and back in Nepal, it was like 35 cents, you know? So there's, there's ranges of, of, of pay less, get more countries. And it's amazing how you get off an airplane in one country and the economy is just simply different. You know, the cost of labor, the cost of food, the cost of housing, the cost of transportation is just different everywhere you go, even within the country. You know, like compare New York City to Alabama, you know, it, it's different. Uh, everywhere you go and and the and basically the strategy that I've been using that has given me the lifestyle that I want is that I mostly stick to pay less get more countries now I've been to Ireland and when I was in Ireland I paid about $25 a night for a hostel bed in a dormitory shared with about 20 other people that was $25 a night and then I come to a country like Thailand and I'm renting an Airbnb entire brand new house with brand new TV, brand new everything, new bed, new, like brand new everything. And right now I'm paying $9 a day and that includes electricity, includes Wi-Fi, and I'm about one kilometer from the beach. And again, uh, it's beautiful here and I love it. And I would rather pay $25 a night in a dorm in a dorm shared here than $25 a night in a dorm shared in Ireland because frankly I love the weather here in Thailand I love the beaches I love the people I love the food I love the lifestyle so it's really a win-win pay less get more and behind me this is where the full moon party used to be um, it's uh COVID times it's uh it's June 2021. I've been in Thailand since the whole epidemic began. I got on one of the last flights from Vietnam, another excellent pay less, get more country. And I got on one of the last flights from Vietnam uh, to Thailand back in March, and I've been here ever since. But that's, a, that's another video for another day. And in this video, um, in this video series, Travel Pro, or, or what, what are we calling the video series? Um, budget travel basics. Just last night I came up with this and I'm like, you know what? I got to do this video series, travel, budget travel basics. Because so many people over my life say, oh, how do you afford to travel? How do you afford to travel? 
And, and I would say the number one rule is travel where you get a good deal. It's really that simple. And, and let's see, let's go over a few countries where I find to be some of the best pay less get more countries. The number one pay less, get more country, I would have to say, is Thailand. Uh, here in Thailand, you can rent a motorbike for 60 US dollars a month. Good bike, almost brand new. Uh, and you can go ahead and rent an Airbnb apartment for, like I am doing right now, for less than $300 a month, including everything. You can go to dinner for two for as little as you know, we're talking like a drink, dish, you know, like a nice, a nice meal at a restaurant, put a menu in front of you, get waited on for as little as four or five dollars. And then, you know, like, like, like a higher end might be like ten dollars. Now, within these pay less, get more countries, there's always tourist traps. Like right now, I'm on the island of Copenhagen and Copenhagen hasn't really changed that much in the past 20 years. It, it's it's very pristine. It's got that old school like backpacker vibe sprinkled in with some flash packer vibe and some higher end stuff. But basically uh, in Copenhagen, you get some really good prices and some good deals. And with the COVID uh, situation, the supply and demand has gotten all askew and the deals are even better now. Um, now, if you go to the neighboring island of Koh Samui, that's been all built up with like high-end resorts. And I just did a day trip over there and I was like, really? Like $60 a night for a, for a hotel? Like $100 a night for a hotel? Like where am I, back in, in Europe or something? I was, they're very, very nice places. Probably this hotel in Europe that you're paying $60 for would probably be $300 there. But I don't come to Thailand to spend, you know, thousands of dollars a month. My budget in Thailand ranges between like $600 and $1,000 a month. And I have everything I want, including like a couple massages a week. And I eat out as much as I want. And, and it's a really great lifestyle. Um, another excellent, uh, I would say for, we can talk about regions of the world. Um, all of Southeast Asia is pay less, get more. I think Thailand is the best bang for your buck. It's not the cheapest country. You can go to Cambodia, you can go to Laos, and it is a lot cheaper. But the infrastructure there is a little bit worse, maybe even a lot worse. And the quality of service and food and everything goes down. So as you go to like extreme pay less, get more, the, the, you know, the value might actually not be as good because yeah, you're paying less, but you're really not getting more. But I think Thailand is the best bang for your buck in Southeast Asia, especially if you know where to go in Thailand. And that's again, another video for another day. I could go on and on about this stuff. Um, let's go to another region of the world. Let's go to Central America. Central America, uh, Mexico, it, uh, like Playa del Carmen is, is an excellent pay less, get more spot in Mexico. And the uh, thing about Mexico and Latin America in general is that they have crime issues and you really got to watch your back. Now in Southeast Asia, there's like, it's like the best of both worlds. You get to pay less and you get more and you don't have to deal with like high crime or, or, or things like that. Um, and, uh, let's, let's say in, in Central America, Guatemala is a, is a very nice pay less, get more country. Um, we can go ahead and move further south into South America. And I would say Ecuador, where I stayed and traveled for about two years. I was fortunate enough to mountain bike through the Andes and, um, and, and Ecuador is an excellent pay less, get more country. You can definitely live there for as little as $500 a month. I was living in the small town of Vilcabamba, Ecuador, very peaceful, has one of the most like perfect climates in the world. And that was about, I, I think I, I was renting an apartment for about the same as I had here, brand new apartment, vaulted ceilings, like really nice. I was paying about $280 a month, including everything, Wi-Fi included, electricity, everything. And, um, and I think my total monthly budget in Vilcabamba, Ecuador was about, I don't know, $600 a month. And, you know, depending on how, how 
your budget is. Now, I'm, I'm fortunate enough where I can, I can freely spend about $1,000 a month and not really have to worry about it. But if you can't, you can go to these places like I just described, like Vilcabamba, Ecuador, get a lesser apartment for as little as $100 a month or even less and, and uh, make your own food. And, and, you know, you can live on $300 a month there easily. And you also have to think about it like this. How is that possible? How, like I'm from the Western world where people can't get by on $2,000 a month a lot of the time. And it's like, how can you go anywhere when you're from the Western world and all you know is like, you know, the Western economy. It's like, what is this guy talking about? $300 a month. How are you getting to live on $300 a month? Well, think about it this way. The average income in Ecuador is $300 a month. If an Ecuadorian can live on $300 a month and there's millions of them, you know, they can all live on $300 a month. Why, why can't you? You know, you can figure it out. And uh, that's what I've become uh, adapted to is like here in Thailand, the average income is again about three to like four, five hundred dollars a month. If the average Thai person can live on four hundred dollars a month, I, why can't I live on six hundred? Right? It, it, you have to, you have to think like this, you know that this is a population of almost seventy million people, and they can all live on four hundred dollars a month. What? what I'm, I'm too good for that. I, I can't do that. They can, but I can't. You know, the greater population in the world is from these pay less, get more countries, these, these second, third world countries. And they are, and all these people, they're living, they have food, they have shelter. Frankly, I find them a lot happier than people in the Western world. You know, they have family, they have love, they have relationships, they have, and they have all the necessities of life for this, you know, for this uh, monthly budget that they are, you know, that they, that they, that's normal. That's normal here. And if they can do it, why can't you? And that's the mindset you have to have uh, if you're going to be like a world traveler and especially like a budget traveler. If you want to go and live a travel lifestyle and, and you only have like a fixed income or a certain amount of money to do it on, then I'm telling you right now, it's very possible. It's very possible. And there's billions of people around the world that are living on, you know, what, $2 a day even? You know, if you research this stuff, it's kind of surprising. Now, I'm not suggesting you live on $2 a day. You know, I wouldn't want to come to Thailand and live on $2 a day. That doesn't sound like fun. Um, but I'm sure, you know, it probably is possible if you had to. Um, now, to continue around the planet, and then we'll wrap this video up, um, Eastern Europe. So I would say Central America, South America, Southeast Asia, and Eastern Europe are probably my best uh, pay less, get more countries uh, or, or regions of the world. Ukraine, Ukraine is an excellent, excellent value. Bulgaria, that is an excellent, excellent value. Uh, and, and the countries around there, but I would, uh, Ukraine really stands out to me. Um, I, I've been to Odessa, I've been to Lviv, I've been to Kiev, um, and they're all just like, I, I remember I went from Western Europe, I went, my, my last trip to Europe, I went from, from uh, west to east. I started in Ireland, I went to Czech Republic, and then I ended up in Ukraine. And when I, and again, as I said earlier in this video, when I was in Ireland, I was paying $25 a night for a dorm hostel bed. And by the time I got to Ukraine, I had a penthouse suite uh, in Odessa on the top floor with a jacuzzi for the same exact price. So this is what I'm talking about uh, when it comes to, you can travel the world on a budget and live a great, great life. You just have to pick, the places in the world that are going to be nice to you. If they're going to be, if they're going to be friendly to your budget, then you should want to go there. You know, I, I like to go to Switzerland. It's not, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense unless you're, unless you're really wealthy, frankly, or you're willing to basically empty out your bank account because you want to go to Switzerland and you love, Switzerland. Another thing that I really, really enjoy about spending time in pay less, get more countries is that when you arrive in the country, when you get off the plane, you're suddenly on the top of the economic pyramid, so to speak. 
you're not like back in America, I'm just another guy. I'm just another middle class guy. I probably have to go get a job and make more money just to make ends meet and live like a basic, frankly, boring life. And when I go to places like, you know, when I go to other parts of the world, these pay less, get more countries that I'm talking about, I'm suddenly like, like upper class and I can afford massages. I can afford everything. I can get a massage here in Thailand for as little as $5 an hour. You know, like I know wealthy people in America that are like, oh, I'm not, I don't get massages. You know, like, yeah, I have money, but I'm not going to spend a hundred dollars for an hour massage, you know, but here in Thailand, I can get a massage every day. So it's really, it's really a, a feeling of wealth. And it's not a I'm better than you, it's not I'm richer than you kind of feeling. It's just like I can do more and I can feel more free kind of feeling. And I think that's really enjoyable and adds so much to your life. And one of the best and most rewarding things about sticking to 80% of the planet, which is pay less, get more countries, is that you can travel longer. You don't have to, you can literally take like a year off of to yourself. You have some money saved, you have some income from your computer. You can just take a large chunk of time and just live in Thailand, live in Guatemala, live in, in Peru, any of these countries for years at a time. And, you know, let's say you have $50,000 saved, or let's say you have an, a residual income through investments or working from your computer and it's coming in every month for about $1,000, you can leave the Western world and go to a pay less, get more country, and you can live or travel there for long spans of time and live a lifestyle of freedom where you own your own time. You're out of the rat race. And that's basically what I chose to do with my life. I, uh, I was very much in the rat race and I was very unhappy and I traveled at a very young age and I first time to Thailand, I was about 21 years old and I was like, wait a minute, I can have all this better than what I have back home for like 20% the price? Really? And, and that's really why I've been traveling the world for as long as I have because I can have so much for so little in so many different parts of the world. And, and that's been one of the key aspects that, that I love about my lifestyle. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. And I wanna hear from you. Have you traveled the world a little bit? Have you been to a pay less, get more country? Maybe you went to, maybe you really wanted to go to a, a certain country in the world and you didn't even realize it was a pay less, get more country. And you get off the airplane and you're like, look at that. I just, I just got a really nice meal for, for $2. This would have cost me $10 back home. What is your experience? I'd love to hear, hear from you. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this video. Please support my work. And from Copenhagen, Thailand, Travel Pro checking out.